Good morning, Kyle from Scram Speed. Uh, today, we got in a couple sets of these valve covers from BTR, finally. We've been waiting on these things for like three months since they came out before PRI. Uh, when we went to PRI, we checked them out and liked them a lot and thought we'd get a couple sets ordered. These are uh, Brian Tooley Racing's new cast valve covers. They allegedly solve all the problems of all the other valve cover issues between cost and coil mounting and accepting stock gaskets. Uh, what really you know, got me interested in them is that they do have coil mounts on them. So that way you can mount coils on it. That's kind of where I plan on putting mine at in the blue car. And they also have baffling at the uh, front and rear that's optional. Accepts, uh, you know, a 12 AN ORB. Uh, they're slanted so that way you, know, you can do a stock rocker or adjustable rocker, whatever you want to. And all the stock hardware fits and, you know, made in USA, of course. And they're not $500 like most of the billet styles. So, um, so let's check these things out. We ordered the black uh, with the coil mounts on them. Both me and Steve uh, like to have our coils on our valve cover. It just simplifies everything. And engine bays get full when you put coils and wires all over the place. So this is what you get when you open up the box. They are really, really nice. They they did a good job engineering these things. Um, all of the bolt holes look really clean. They're not coated, you know. When you flip it over, you can see how it accepts a stock style gasket. It also comes with all the necessary hardware. You've got uh, one plug for one side of the valve cover, and then you got an oil fill cap, which is right here. It's an oil fill cap, and then you got your baffling and then the hardware to mount the coils, since this is the coil style. I'm gonna bust these things out of the box, start playing with them. Okay, so it's an hour later. I've been playing with these things a little bit, and they are super nice. They did a good job on these valve covers. I'm very happy that we decided to buy a set. Um, I really like stock valve covers because they just fit good, and the seals fit good, and everything about them is just easy to take on and off. You don't have any issues. Um, and then we've also used billet ones that are really nice, but you know, you have an option of 50 bucks to 500 bucks. Um, these things are kind of the medium. I really, I really do like them. The coil brackets are really nice. Assuming that you're using LS3 style coils. I'm not, I'm using a, uh, a smart coil. So I have to figure that, uh, out on this thing, but I'm definitely using these valve covers and the coils are going on them and I'm definitely using those coils. So I will figure this out. Okay, so I just threw the gasket on it, and this might be the first time I've ever put a gasket on my valve cover right in. I'd actually stretch it either way, but it goes on really good. Um, I left this one kind of up so that way you can see how snug it is. The machined groove is really nice to the gasket, so when you push it down, it stays. It's really, really nice. Um, it went on perfect. Looks really good. Um, the gasket fits perfect. And I love these stock gaskets. Um, every other valve cover I've used as an aftermarket O-ring style has always leaked. It also fits uh, stock. It uses, you know, the stock Felpro inserts, the grommets. And those fit really, really nice. Inside the valve cover, it's got two spots for ports in the front and rear, and they're both 12 ORB. Either one can be used for an oil fill or for ventilation. If you decide to use it for ventilation, like I'm going to, you gotta use a baffle, or it recommends to use a baffle, and the baffles look like these. Really nice little units. I believe they go this way. They go something like that, though, so that way it cuts off most of the oil slosh going actually to the baffle, or the going actually to the ORB, which is really nice. We used to have problems filling up catch cans in the previous setup, so interested to try that out. It comes with all the necessary hardware. I already kind of got it out of the bag, but those are the screws to hold the coils together. Uh, these are not the coils you use, obviously, but that you kind of get the gist of how it goes together. Um, comes with the hardware for that. It comes with these really nice black spacers. These are not plastic spacers. These are aluminum anodized spacers. So they're really good looking spacers. Did a good job on those. Not gonna be probably using them since I'm gonna be Frankenstein and coils on it, but it comes with a plug and then it has an oil fill cap, which is actually already on the car. I put the, that side on already, which we'll go check out now. So this is what the BTR valve cover looks like on my setup. Looks really, really good. Matches everything well with the aluminum and the black. Uh, the oil fill cap you can see is on. That's what it looks like. It's not in the way of anything. It's a nice little, uh, little oil fill port. You can see it's got the angle built into it. So it's not normal where it would be straight up from the head surface, it's actually straight up almost from level, but it sits it a little bit higher than a standard valve cover. Um, I got one coil mount on it just to kind of do some mock-up with the smart coils. 
not going so good. We'll figure that out though. Um, there's a 12 ORB fitting in the back of it. I got the tubes going to the rear of the car, but that's kind of what it looks like with the 12 ORB on it. Um, really nice valve covers. Uh, Bravo BTR, you did a good job on these things. I really like them. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna make the smart coils work yet, but I'll figure it out. Uh, the hardware fits real nice. Um, this is the Scram Speed hardware kit. We sell the stainless bolts and grommets. Um, I just threw those in real quick to get it kind of snugged down and, and it looks really good with the stainless hardware too. So didn't uh, find any issues putting these things on the car for mock-up other than they don't fit smart coils. That's kind of my only gripe about them. Um, other than that, really good product. You can find these guys on BTR's website. Like I said, we waited a couple months for them since PRI, but really nice product. I highly recommend it. It's not 500 bucks and uh, it should suit pretty much all your needs. So you can find these uh, at BTR or uh, hit up Scram Speed and we can get a set coming for you. Hope you enjoy the video. Later guys.